only at the Indianapolis <laughs> Zoo. These are Diamondbacks are the largest rattlesnake in North America and in the world, actually. Rattlesnakes are pit vipers. They have heat sensing pits on the front of their mouth. So they'll tend to sit there and wait until a mouse rodent, something runs by, and then they'll strike out. They can throw a lot of their body around very quickly. Their fangs are tucked up under the roof of the mouth, and when they strike out, the fangs unfurl and go out now, so that way they can get into the prey and release their venom. Unfortunately, their populations are dwindling because of things like rattlesnake roundups. Rattlesnakes are being killed for meat and their leather and their skin. And other things like roads and habitat destruction are also making the populations dwindle. So if you're hiking, just make sure you're watching where you're stepping and making sure that you're not putting yourself into a spot where you could get bit by a snake. So like a large rock, that might provide a warm basking spot for a rattlesnake, might also be a good spot for the rattlesnake to go under and cool down. The other good thing, again, is our rattlesnakes tend to rattle and they'll tell you that, hey, I'm here, and they don't want to pick a fight with something as big as you. As a keeper here at the zoo, I think it's really important for visitors to see when they're walking through our snake area to realize that snakes are very important to the ecosystem. Without snakes keeping rodent populations down, our food could be contaminated or eaten. Um, from large rodent populations. So large snake populations are really good for the environment. Even though they're scary and not always the most cuddly creature that we want to be around, they are very important to our ecosystem. 